Hello, good people. It's Rob Lee. I want to do a video for you today uh, about the Antichrist. And everybody wants to know who the Antichrist is. And all over the internet, there's video after video, and article after article, there's television, there's movies about the Antichrist. So if you guys will just be patient, and if you will hold on, I promise you that we will learn the truth about who the Antichrist is, and it may surprise some of you a whole lot. Before we start and we and I expose to you who the Antichrist is, I want to explain something to you. On the internet today, and I've told you all how much of a, of a, of a minefield of disinformation, misinformation, propaganda, and outright lies it is. For example, such subjects as the Antichrist, Mystery Babylon, Fallen Angels, Israel, Israelites, and Prophecy are simply, there are thousands upon thousands of lies, videos that are lies. And the Antichrist is one of them. And so are the teachings of Jesus Christ and the truth about the Bible, what's really in the Bible. Now, before we get going, I want to I want to show you something that for a, I've been on YouTube now for 20, excuse me, for 32 months, I think, 32 maybe, two, two over two and a half years and uh, two years and eight months. I started in November of 2016 and I put out my first video on December the 25th, 2016 because I don't celebrate Christmas. And during that time, I've learned a lot, uh, not only in my personal life, but in my walk with Jesus Christ, with my father, and I've had to go through a lot. I've almost died, I've been humbled, and I've learned, and I've learned how to try to be the way the Father wants me to be. And those of you who have been with me since the beginning, you've seen that I've grown, I've changed. One of the things that has not changed, and there's a lot changing on YouTube, but one of the things that has not changed on YouTube is the lies and the propaganda. And I just before we get into this, I want to just I want to show you something, and I want to explain something to you. And I, I think this will really help you to understand how bad it, it truly is because it's bad. This is just from in my personal files from two years ago. Some pictures I took back when I used to have a fairly big channel. At one time, I had fifty thousand people. 50,000 subs and had over millions of views. Did you hear what just was spotted in Antarctica? Get ready, Josh Tolley. It's a complete lie because nothing ever happened, all right? But that many people would watch it. Why do you think that is? I mean, don't you find that odd? That Or how about 10 million people would follow this character, Alex Jones? It's a mind-blowing that people can be that deceived. I mean, really, that, that deceived with truth is out there but it's just not found or well, here's one for you boom Rothschild bank now under criminal investigation after recent indictment Dabu 7 7 Dabu is in Buddha backward Buddha boom well actually a hundred thousand people maybe more watch this video but what's so amazing to me is that people would not people would see it and watch it and, and not ask don't the Rothschilds own the banks but it's amazing that people are that that naive, that gullible. And which brings me to something that I want to show to you that happened to me a couple years ago. And I did a video about it, and it did, did pretty good at the time. It did so good that it caused Jim Beckwith, uh, End Times Prophecy News. They actually sent me emails and came to my channel and tried, and tried to curse me and tell me I was a false preacher, false prophet, and I've never said I was either. But anyway, they did not, did not like me calling them out for the lie. And it was about a video that came out called um, the Supreme Court made a ruling that just banned Islam in schools. Now, this is from Breaking News 24, and then you see End Times Prophecy News, Jim Beckwith, Breaking Supreme Court, No Islam in Public Schools. Now, all this came out on the same day, Breaking, first, for, first for, full Supreme Court ruling in over a year made Obama furious. Now. Folks, I went to factcheck.org. I went to the Supreme Court website. I did a video about it. I still have it. I might even put it out, change the volume, make it a little bit louder. It was a 17-minute video, and it did really good at the time. I think it got maybe 40 or 50,000 views because it exposed these monsters for, for lying. There was no Supreme Court ruling. It didn't, there was not even a case on the docket. How do I know? Because I went to the Supreme Court, and I read the, the cases that were on the docket. There was none, absolutely none. It never existed. But yet this went all over the internet, 
all over YouTube, and these people, folks, actually believed it. Folks came to my channel, and that's how I, that's how I actually heard about it. Folks actually believed it, and they they don't bother to check. They just believe whatever YouTube tells them. They just believe. So I went to the docket and I looked. There was no such case. This is how bad it is. This is how bad it is now, and this is why I'm I'm prefacing. Uh, this video by showing you this because with such uh, subjects as the Antichrist folks can these monsters on YouTube who work for the devil can tell a lie and millions of folks will believe it because most of them are internet addicts just as you have dope addicts and you have alcoholics man you have internet junkies that cannot get off the internet and they will believe any daggone thing they hear they just do that they believe it and the reason they do it is because the father has not allowed them to know the truth and many of them will claim that they believe but we all have to do some serious soul searching sometimes in our life and ask ourselves why do we fall for such lies and why is it that some people can see through the lies it's, it's really important I did another video uh, a couple months after that about the a Minnesota shooting where a supposed Somali Muslim cop shot a white woman while he was in his car mind you he just drove up and they were in an alley he just shot her dead right and I tried to tell people this was a lie this was propaganda and here you had the picture that I took and I did two videos about this 45 minutes and people from all over the internet came and cussed me oh you're not loving white people you're siding with Muslims after I done put out 50 videos talking about the Islamic religion and the lies of it here you see the black and white this is the Masonic checkerboard here you see the pyramid in the back and the the Asian Asian American uh, the reporter's name was Slavic is in slave and I went on and showed 20 minutes of symbols and told him it was a lie most of what we see is a it, it is a Masonic ritual it's a lie this is the truth just as for example the moon and Mars most of what you see about Mars and the moon takes place in Canada Greenland and some parts of the desert Southwest here they are practicing this is in Canada. Has, it's the, nobody's been to Mars, but folks believe it. You see, they believe the lie. They believe those that, that make it the lie. As Jesus Christ said, those who believe and make it the lie will not enter into his kingdom. Because most folks want to believe the lie. And this is the maturity level that Americans and Europeans, Scandinavians and Russians, Western culture has sunk to. Australia this is a video about minecraft now i have no idea what minecraft is i've never played it um it must be pretty popular that this guy has 96 million subscribers and you see 4.6 million views 10 million views 7.2 million views and i actually seen a video it was a rap battle between alfred hitchcock and steven spielberg it was animated and it had i think 150 million views folks you see, the naivete and the childlike, the childlike mind, not as in childlike as in biblical, but as in feeble-minded, weak-minded, gullible, and naive to believe anything, it isn't, man, it is rampant. It is, and they will believe, the folks will believe anything. For example, another one is Mystery Babylon. And this is really huge, right? Mystery Babylon. All throughout the scriptures, this is the enemy of Jesus Christ, Mystery Babylon. Mystery Babylon is going to rule the world. Mystery Babylon is the enemy of Jesus Christ and his flock. Now, folks will tell you it's Mecca. It's, it's the it's, uh, Muslims. They will tell you it's Rome. It's the United States. But they will not go to the Bible and simply let Jesus Christ tell you who is Mystery Babylon. Well, Jesus Christ says that in her was found the blood of prophets and of saints and all that were slain up on the earth. You see, so Jesus Christ himself tells us that it is Jerusalem because Jesus Christ told us that it is Jerusalem that killeth the prophets. Let me read some scriptures to you. And I just, before we get into this, I just want to show you this is how bad that it truly is. Now, I just want to read some scriptures to you about Mystery Babylon, all right? This is Matthew 23, 29. Woe unto you, scribes and Pharisees, hypocrites! Because ye build the tombs of prophets and garnish and garnish the sepulchres of the righteous. Matthew twenty three thirty and say, if we had been in the days of our fathers, we would not have been partakers with them in the blood of the prophets. Matthew twenty three thirty one. Wherefore ye be witnesses unto yourselves that ye are the children of them which killed the prophets. 
Matthew 23, 34. Wherefore, behold, I send unto you prophets and wise men and scribes, and some of them you shall kill and crucify, and some of them shall ye scourge in your synagogues and persecute them from city to city. Jesus Christ 23:37 O Jerusalem Jerusalem thou that killest the prophets and stonest them which are sent unto thee how often would i have gathered thy children together even as a hen gathereth her chickens under her wings and ye would not This is mystery Babylon the antichrist system will emanate from Jerusalem because listen to me brethren 2000 years ago it started when Jesus Christ was before he was born. The Antichrist behavior. Do you understand? When they killed the children, trying to kill the, the, the infant Jesus, this was the Antichrist already at, at work. But let's go further here, okay? I don't want to stop there. I just I don't want to get off on that because that's for another video. Hollywood, television, social media tell lie after lie about the Bible about the most the most important subjects of the Bible for example a brother the other day sent me a email about the, the rapture and he used a Greek word um, harpazos I think and I've read the Greek I've read the Aramaic I've read it all I don't do it as much anymore I, I, I still do it some not as much as I did the father gave me the Bible in English I'll read it in English the vast majority of the time Social media is the same way. You will see the censorship and the lies to keep you from knowing the truth. And it makes you feel like that you're one in like 10,000. And not that we're special because we're anything but special. And I'm certainly not special because I've told you and I'm telling you now. I don't know much about the Bible. I don't. Some of you may think that I do, but I don't. I, I know very little about the Bible. I only know what my father has shown me. And I told him just today in prayer, I don't know much, Father, but I'm willing to keep learning. And what you show me, Father, I will certainly share with your flock. Because sometimes I've read the Bible, not sometimes, many times, and simply told my father, I don't understand a word that I just read, Father. Nothing. When he wants me to understand it, when he wants you to understand it, we'll understand it. And not until. I want you to take a look at this picture right here. This is your typical, and I, I, I'm not trying to be mean, this is your typical YouTuber, okay? He's watching some Fox, maybe some CNN. Then when he gets a little bit, maybe a little bit later on, he'll go to YouTube. And he'll have a couple hours on YouTube, and he'll watch three or four videos, or maybe he'll watch them all night. And he will believe that what he has watched is that he has garnered knowledge, that he has now the truth. And he will share it with others, and they will believe it's truth. When everything that they have watched is a lie, this is the same thing that you will find in churches. These people go to church and they'll wave their hands and they'll use the name Jesus and they'll sing some hymns, but they do not read what's in the Father's Word. They do not read the teachings of Jesus Christ. You see, it all becomes a theater. It's just one big show because, again, people are addicted to the Internet. They are addicted. And listen to me, brethren. Most folks don't want to hear the truth. They don't care about the truth. The lie is much better for them. They like the lie. Okay? They like the lie. And in some countries now, you can actually, and you already know this because we've done videos about it, you can actually be imprisoned and you can actually be fined for telling the truth, for criticizing certain people, certain countries, certain segments, certain factions of society, simply for telling the truth. And what all this has done, it keeps people with, here we are in the last days, and people spend most of their time living the lie and searching out the lie. And it keeps people in a perpetual state of stupor, and what it does, it keeps, them, it keeps them in a maze. And they never can find their way out. And they never can find Jesus Christ. And you start to really see how serious it truly is. And then many of them are going to hear the words of Jesus Christ. Depart from me. I never knew you, ye worker of iniquity. Because they chose the lie over the truth. Because they did not want to read the Bible. The chains have been put on the scriptures. This is why we have 200 versions of the Bible. But we still have the 1611 King James. We still have the truth. Most folks simply just don't want to read it. And there's no subject more lied about than end times prophecy. The end times prophecy and the truth that's what's in the scripture. I just got through telling you, folks, I don't have the answers for you about all the prophecies. In fact, I know very, 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 very little. Very little. I can't be any more humble than that and tell you I know very, very little. A tiny fragment 
I know a grain of sand compared to all the sand that's on this earth. And I only know that because my father has been merciful enough to show me a few things. But I prayed to him just this morning. And when he wants me to know more, he'll show me. And I feel like that he will. And it, he'll show you more as we go forward. I want to read a couple verses here to you. And then we're going to get into the Antichrist. And I'm going to show you without any question who the Antichrist is. Matthew 7.15, Beware of false prophets which come to you in sheep's clothing, but in, inwardly they are ra ravening wolves. Ravening wolves. That means that inside they want to hurt you. See, outwardly they appear to be your friend. They want to tell you the truth. And this is on YouTube, brethren, just as much as it is the church. Just as much as it is society. And some of you, I don't know all, I don't know how many of you, but some of you, you go and you allow yourselves to be seduced by spirits and ravening wolves on YouTube. Now, I'm not telling you I'm the only channel that, where you can garner truth. But I am telling you this. At this point in it, if a channel has 100,000 subs or even 10,000, they haven't been censored. If they haven't been censored, ask yourself one question. Why? 1 John 4, 1, Beloved, believe not every spirit, but try the spirits, whether they are of God, because many false prophets are gone out into the world. Many. Notice the word many many gone out into the world Matthew 24 11 and many false prophets shall rise and shall deceive many there's the word many again this is Jesus Christ talking about the the end days many he says many false prophets shall rise and this is not only in churches and a prophet does not mean that he just t talks about God or Jesus he talks about he prophesizes and notice it says that and shall deceive many what I want to do now, brethren, I want to go forward and I just want to say a couple things to you. The key to really understanding your father's word, the key to having your father open up the word to you and, and to show you us some of the mysteries of this world, one, we have to ask them and we have to come to them as children, little children. There's a time to be strong. There's a time to be brave. There's a time to be courageous. But when we come to our father, we have to come to him as a child. We're not going to impress our father. You come to him as a child. And you come to him because a child has no a child has no ego. A child is the most humble people on this earth are children. They don't have no egos. So when we come to our father as a child, then we can expect our father to bless us and we will see the truth through those lenses like a child. And then once we see the truth, our Father will give us the courage to speak the truth. And the Bible will start to open up to us. And we will start to learn our Father's word and some of his mysteries. And he will teach us and show us mighty and wondrous things. He will give to us what he wants us to understand. A couple years ago, I did a video about Barack Obama and him coming back. And I said that he was part of prophecy. And I believe that he's one of the more evil presidents that we've ever had. Uh, he did more damage in eight years than many presidents could do in four or five terms. Um, I did a video about him, and I based it on um, his presidency, the things he did, the things he said, the way he put down Christians, the way he put down the Bible, but on a scripture. Um, and, he, and I did a, I put it was from a scripture in Luke ten, eighteen, where Jesus Christ said that he saw Satan fall from heaven like lightning now i never said that barack obama was the was the antichrist ever not once if you want to go back and look at the video it's on my backup backup channel called unafraid and you will see i never called him the antichrist i still believe he very well may be back at the un or even here in the united states the hebrew word for the uh for elevation or the heights is bama and the the definition for for a lightning is Barack. So when Jesus, it would have been Barack Obama. Now, is that a coincidence? It very well could be, but that would be one heck of a coincidence. But I never called him the Antichrist. Not not once. Go back and watch the video. It's only about 14 minutes long. I never called him the Antichrist. Now the the culprits today, the suspects today for the Antichrist, are of course Donald Trump he right now and I'm not sure if Trump would ever have the brains to do but so much uh, had just really uh, Trump is the candidate he's the Antichrist and even 
Macron over in France, he's been tossed around. And back in the 60s and 70s, it was Nixon. And Jared Kushner, as many people say, he's the Antichrist, that he's this figure and he's going to sit and he's going to do it. But is it what's in the Bible? Well, I tell you, listen to me, brethren. All these issues will divide families. Here you have mother and daughter separated. Separated because one believes, one doesn't. Jesus Christ said that this would happen. What I want to do now, I just want to play a, a little, a little, I want to show you some pictures. And then at the end of it, I'm going to tell you who the Antichrist is. Okay, period. I'm going to show you who the Antichrist is without any question. And then you can go tell anybody you want when they ask you, and they tell you this is the Antichrist, this person, you can tell them, no, I can show you without any question who the Antichrist is according to Jesus Christ. Not according to a YouTuber. Not according to a guy, Matt John Jojo on YouTube, who's got 2.4 million subs, who works for Google and works for the devil. Not your lying, corrupt pastor. Not the guy who's got a website who tells you that if you'll give him some money, that he's, going, he, he's got some answers for you. You can go to the word of your Almighty Father, which is free. And you can read it for yourself, and you can let Jesus Christ tell you without any question. You don't need to dissect it. You can simply read it for yourself. Who is the Antichrist? Let's go to these clips, and then at the very end of the video, we're going to get into it. Now, I just want you, before we get into this, I want you to think about something. Jesus Christ, the Antichrist would have to be the antithesis of Jesus, because that's what he is. That, that's what, the Antichrist is. You're the opposite of Jesus. You're anti-Jesus. You're against Jesus. Jesus and you are arch enemies, correct? So let's get to this and we're going to play this video and then at the end of it we're going to expose the Antichrist. I appreciate you guys watching.
brethren. So everything that we just looked at, now that those were just a few, a few pictures, a few video clips. You see the the one guy with the serpent, the actual snake's tongue coming out of his mouth. That's real. That is reality. You seen the pictures of the coach, and you seen the uh, the picture of the football player with the hands. You seen the Facebook staff. All these people. This is reality. This is the people that live among you that hate Jesus Christ and they hate you because Jesus Christ said we would be hated for his name's sake. Now, I said that we would expose who the Antichrist is and then in future videos we will look at the son of perdition and we will look at some other things but I want you to leave today knowing that you can say I know who the Antichrist is beyond any question and don't give me the credit for it because I deserve no credit. You give Jesus Christ the credit because without Jesus Christ, none of this is possible. I'm not breathing without Jesus Christ. Trust me. Really. I'm not breathing without Jesus. So, we read a short way into the Gospels before we find the first attempt to kill Jesus. In Matthew chapter 2, we find that King Herod of Jerusalem attempted to trick the wise men into revealing the location of the child Jesus. And when God prevented this, we find that Herod was so exceeding wroth and mad and crazy and he sent forth his soldiers and they slew all the children that were in Bethlehem and in all the coast thereof from two years old and under in a vain attempt to kill the infant Jesus. Now this is the nature and the extreme and lengths that the devil's children will go to so that we may be destroyed and they were trying to destroy your king and your redeemer, the only begotten son of God when he was a baby. This is the truth. This is Antichrist. Now let's open up the Bible and let's read the truth about the Antichrist. In the Holy Scriptures, which come from the Almighty God himself, the word Antichrist is only mentioned four times. That's it, brethren. Four times. I know. I don't know much, but I've read the Bible. Four times. And I don't mind opening up the old Bible and trying to do a study. Four times. That's it. Four times. First John. Let's read the words of Jesus, shall we? Because everything comes from Jesus. This is 1 John 2.18. Little children, it is the last time. And as ye have heard that Antichrist shall come, even now are there many Antichrist, whereby we know that it is the last time. 1 John 2.22. Who is a liar but he that denieth that Jesus is the Christ? He is Antichrist that denieth the Father and the Son. Think, brethren. Think. Let's move on. 1 John 4.3. And every spirit, the spirit that lives in you, that confesseth not that Jesus Christ has come in the flesh is not of God. And we already know many beings on this earth, seen and unseen, are not of God. And this is that spirit of Antichrist, whereof ye have heard that it should come, and even now already is it in the world. So John is saying already, and John wrote this about 15 years after the death of Jesus, he's saying already now, it's already in the world. In fact, it was already in the world before Jesus Christ took his first breath. The Antichrist spirit, the anti-Jesus Christ spirit. That's why they tried to kill him as a baby. Who tried to kill him as a baby? Who killed Jesus? Who killed the prophets? Second John 1 John 1.7 For many deceivers are entered into the world who confess not that Jesus Christ has come in the flesh. This is a deceiver and an Antichrist. So, brethren, we see that the Antichrist was here before Jesus was born and was here all through his life, the life of Jesus, and is still here now. So who is the Antichrist? Every single being and person that we just looked at in the pictures, they are the Antichrist. Your next door neighbor is, your, is, is the Antichrist. Your, your, maybe it's your mom. Maybe it's your uncle. Maybe it's your own dad. Maybe it's your own son, your own daughter. If they deny Jesus Christ, they are Antichrist. There is no mythical figure. You see, there is no one person. There may be a being like that. There may have been beings like that all throughout history that are so evil that they have the, the spirit of the devil in them. I have no doubt. But if you're going to use the word Antichrist, and then get a million views saying that it's this figure sitting up in this and that. And the, you're not teaching the word of God, man. You're teaching a lie. You're teaching a lie from the father of the lies, the devil himself. That's what you're teaching. 
And that's why you have this vast movement to corrupt the churches, to corrupt the Bibles, and you have this vast movement to censor free speech because they do not want the few folks left who do love Jesus to tell the truth because they do not want to admit that Jesus Christ says that he will destroy his enemies. And his enemies are all over this earth. But his enemies at one time centered in, simply put, brethren, Jerusalem. And Jerusalem is where Mystery Babylon, the center of Antichrist behavior in the end days, will, will emanate from. That is the truth from Almighty God himself. That's the truth that your father taught us in scriptures. That's not from a lying YouTuber. That's not from a pastor. That's the word of your father. Now, who are you going to believe? Your father, or YouTube, or the pastor. I just showed you what's in the scriptures. Now, there is a son of perdition. There is some prophecy, but they're never once called the Antichrist. There's no Damien Thorne character. There's no, there's, that's just not there. There are many evil monsters, some incredibly wealthy and powerful, but they're not called Antichrist. Because they're no more Antichrist than the guy across the street who hates Jesus Christ. I hope this makes sense to you. Please remember that Jesus Christ is all that we need. You don't need anything else in this life but Jesus. You wake up with Jesus, you go to bed with Jesus, and all throughout the day it's Jesus. And when else is talking about the devil, and this video, and that news, and this news, and that news, and this prophecy, and Antichrist, let's keep our eye on Jesus Christ. Because if we keep our eye on Jesus Christ, we can't go wrong, now can we? May the Father bless each and every one of you. And then the only name, the name above all names, Jesus.